Hi guys, I've decided to uh, make some videos of the snakes that are currently in my collection. Um, right now I'm working with these beautiful little guys. These guys here, stay in there buddy. These guys here are called Trimatosaurus albolabris, or white-lipped pit viper. Um, they come from China, Indonesia, all over the place. Um, this is a pair, male and female. These guys are about four months old, maybe five months old. Um, they've been a pain in the butt because I've had to force feed them pinky parts um, for the first part of their life. But um, just a couple of weeks ago, last feeding, they were both nice enough to take a pinky each, full pinkies. Uh, parts. So hopefully I'll have the same luck right now. I'll start with this guy. They're fairly aggressive snakes. They've got a really fast strike. The problem with feeding these little guys is that they'll often take the pinky, they'll strike at it, but they'll drop it almost immediately. Um, once they take the pinky, you've got to remain just about completely motionless because they'll get spooked and often this guy looks like he might take it and often drop it because of fear. There we go. Now, my technique is to hold on to the pinky with the tongs for a couple seconds after they grab it. That usually allows them to hold on longer. See, this guy let go already. Try again. There we go. Not sure if he's going to hold on to it, but aggressive little guy. There you go. Come on. Take it. Now this guy's running on me. Hold on. It's not always a good idea to feed two snakes at once because it's difficult to keep your eyes on both at the same time. Okay. Let's try this guy again. Yes. aggressive. He wants to bite it, but I don't think he wants to eat it. Come on. Nope. One second. Got a runner again. Hold on. Hold on. How about you? Now the one on the left may be getting ready to go into a shed because the one on the right, the male on the right, he just shed two days ago. So the one on the left may not want to eat. I'm really hoping the one on the right is going to take this meal. Because I'm not a huge fan of force feeding. It's dangerous to myself, it's dangerous for the snakes. Here we go. Let's hope that he holds on to that one. So these, these pinkies I de thaw in lukewarm water, and once they're completely thawed, before I offer them to these snakes, I stick them under a heat lamp for about a minute just to just to heat them up a little bit. That's because these are pit vipers and they generally rely on their heat sensing pits to locate the prey and if you try to feed them something cold they usually just turn up their nose at it. Come on.
when you guys were so great a couple of weeks ago. These little guys are notorious for not being very good feeders on their own in captivity as babies, but well, once they get feeding, they just don't stop. They can be difficult as youngsters because they're generally frog and lizard eaters in the wild, so trying to feed them uh, little baby mice, they don't always uh, appreciate it. Well, they like biting it, but they don't seem to want to hold on. Oh, caught in your fang there, buddy. It's caught. Can I let go? There we go. Come on. Okay, not so very good luck. My first snake video. Still some neat footage though. These gorgeous animals. Oh, both pinkies are in the water. Looks like we might have to uh, warm them up again. Oops. When you're working with venomous snakes, it's a good idea to have uh, your snake hooks on hand right beside you because you never know when these snakes are going to come flying out of their container and uh, start heading across the floor. And um, as you can see, I've got two hooks here. And the reason for that is because these guys here, being a tree viper, they really like to wrap themselves around a hook. And uh, often, once you get them on the hook, they just want to climb the hook and get closer to your hand. And if you've got to set that hook down to avoid getting bit or getting too close to them, you've got to have a second hook on hand within reach to be able to uh, to control them. They're really not looking too interested. You're feisty, but you're just not holding on. Now this is also their sleep time. They uh, are nocturnal snakes, and it's about seven o'clock right now. And they go to bed, or they wake up. The lights go out, and they wake up at about eleven. So it's not really prime time to feed them. I should probably try again, just as the lights go out. And they're uh, when they're fully active and awake. Should we try again? I've got the feeling this guy's going into a shed, so we might not have good any any luck with this one right here. But we'll try anyways. Oh, he's trying to run. Trying to run. Hold on, hold on. You know you want it. You know you want it. No, you want it. Okay, he's got a hold of it. But is he going to continue to hold on to it? At this point, once they've grabbed it, you've really got to just move really slowly, if you move at all, because you don't want to spook them. When they've got prey in their mouth, they can't, or when they're swallowing prey, they can't bite you. So often, uh, if they feel threatened, what they'll do is they'll drop their prey so that their mouth becomes free, so they can go after you. Anyways, if you start swallowing this, I'll start the video back up again. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video.